Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Kate May, Modern Day Mystic. We are looking at the tarot scopes for the month of May for the Earth signs now, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. Let's see what we've got going on for you here. Okay, if you're watching on YouTube, welcome to my channel. If you're watching from my VIP group, thank you for joining. If you would like to join my VIP group, then do join. Let me know and I can give you the details there or the link is in the description. Okay, we're going to have a first look at Taurus. Taurus, what's going on with your love life? I'm interested to see. Oh my God, everything's falling over. That's a, that's a sign. Okay, love life, Taurus. Hmm. It is the Hermit. Now, not the best card for your love life, Taurus, but this card is about introspection, being on your own, time out. So in a love area, this could indicate that you'll need a little bit of time out at the moment, or that you're doing contemplating, you're thinking deeply about things this month. It could be that you're realizing what it is that you want, and you're going back into your hopes and your dreams, things you've put in a little box, and you're now ready to start getting that out, and ready to start living the love life that you want. But the Hermit is a soul searching card and a soul searching card on your own. So be aware of needing a bit of time out or having a bit of space within your relationships there. If you're feeling like you're on your own, oh, another flash. If you're feeling a bit too lonely, if you feel that you do want to have a bit of love there, then you're going to have to think about how you can do it. This is a thinking card. So you're going to have to think about how you can break out break free or reach out and get that love that you want so thinking introspection and having a little bit of maybe meditation around your love area what is it that you really really want to uh, type taurus getting confused there taurus what is it that you really want in your love life that's what this card is saying have a think about it and then start creating that magic in your money zone money zone tauruses let's have a look what's going on in our money zone Okay, I can't think how that's going to be for me because I'm completely loved up. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see how that unfolds. Okay, in your money area, this is better. This is the one we want. The money area is new creative vibes. So there's going to be some offers coming around you. Oh, another flash. There's going to be some offers coming around Tauruses this month. Now, this could be creative offers. This could be offers to do with the heart, okay? So if on a money situation, this card is saying there's going to be a love. Tauruses love money. They're ruled by um, the, ha the second house, which is to do with values and finances there. So there's going to be a love of being able to get organised with money or being able to get new things done around money. You might find that you are offered something by a friend or somebody who has an emotional connection to you this month where there is a financial opportunity involved there. When the cups come up to do with money, it's um, very much on your emotions. So just be aware of not being pulled in too much emotionally. We like to be practical Tauruses. So you might find that, yeah, you want to go with it. It all sounds all wonderful. So you may just have to think, actually, is it practical? Is it going to pay the bills? Is it going to be able to do this or do that? It sounds a wonderful idea. Emotional connection there. It is a very positive card. It's a very peaceful card. And there's an, an intuitive sense of that everything is balanced around here with the finances but do just check in that it is going to be practical and worth it in the long run the aces are all about potential we never know how it's going to pan out there's always potential but as it goes that is a good ace in the money zone there okay let's have a look at a general vibe for you taurus rest and recuperate rest and recuperate so this is indicating a busy time and maybe it's now time to rest and recuperate and put your mind at, to rest put your worries to rest put your concern and put your body to rest when you have a little bit of a break here you can come back feeling fully energized fully focused so it may be connected to that hermit card it might be that you need a little bit of time out to be able to um, really think about what it is that you want to do now, if you find found that you've been going around in circles, if you found you've been banging your head against a brick wall, Tauruses, if you find that just everything is getting too much for you, or one particular area is getting too much, then just rest it, put it to bed, put all your concerns to bed for the moment, recharge your energy, and you'll come back as fabulous as ever. Okay, even if you can't get a proper break, you know, a week off, if you can just get a weekend or just an hour to meditate, that would be great. Or an hour just to put your mind to rest somewhere. And this is, this is what we want. This is our mystic message from my own deck, which you can purchase on my website, www.kekmay.com. 
www.lovingthisvibe.co.uk. This is a love and it says loving this vibe. You found a good soul there. I've got flat of eyes for you both. So by thinking about what you want, you can definitely bring in some beautiful love energy there. Loving that vibe, that's more like it. Okay, Tauruses, have a fabulous May. Let's move in to Virgos. Virgo, what is going on, Virgos, for your love life? Okay, Virgos, we've got the Page of Pentacles. Now, this is about ideas, so it's interesting when it's a practical card when we talk about love. Virgos, this is saying that there could be some new sparks, new ideas, some hope around a, a love life. Maybe there's something that you're talking about to do with a new home or new car, new purchase there with your partner or even a move there. This is an idea stage. It indicates that something is brewing of an idea. So in a relationship area, things are hotting up, but all at the very early stage. Now, again, it's about being practical, so making practical decisions in that love area. You may find this does connect to an earth sign, so you could find that you're loving it up with a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn there yourself. They could be an important person coming in at the moment to help your love life or a younger person. Now, it could even be that it's the start of something new within a relationship there, but it's at that very, very early stages. So we don't know how it's going to pan out, but it's got lots of practical ideas around it. Now, let's have a look around your money Virgos, your money. This is a bit of a battle card. So you could be battling things this month, Virgo. Now, what this indicates is that while you're battling, there's not necessarily a right or wrong. It's about opinions. Everybody's got an opinion, haven't they? <clears throat> so it's indicating just to um, be wise, listen to other people's opinions, but don't really take it to heart. Be respectful as long as they're respectful to you, but don't necessarily take everything to heart. It is just opinions. This says pick your battles wisely. Perhaps don't get too involved in any money battles or any money worries. And if it is a money worry that you're battling at the moment, then it indicates there's different ways around things. You need to think outside the box and you need to see things in a different manner. Approach things in many different ways to get the best out of a situation. And let's have a look at your general card. And it's a money card as well. So lots of money things going on for you, Virgo. This is indicating that you may need to hold on to your things a little bit. Be careful that you don't splash the cash too much. If you're feeling super generous, then just be mindful that you need to get a balance of things. But really, this card indicates that now's the time to hold on to a few pennies. Don't be so tight, though, that you're not letting a flow. Nobody likes a blocked flow, do they? So, Virgos, try and get the balance, get a little bit of flow there with money coming in and money coming out. And even emotional things, you know, you could block yourself at the moment. You might find that generally you're just putting a little bit of protection around yourself. But keep a little window open because you could find you miss opportunities or that you end up in a position where you're left out too much. So it's about getting that balance and being a bit flexible. And you can see in this card, he's got all the coins there, which indicates holding everything together, not just finances, but holding everything together, even emotions there. But if he moves, he's gonna drop one. So he's almost stuck there. So it's indicating just open a window, just put something down so that you can be a bit flexible to opportunities coming in. But do be mindful that you don't splash the cash too much, Virgos, this month or that you don't open yourself up to hurt too much, but just a little window. Okay, and this is your mystic message on money. So Virgos, it's all around money really this month for you. Your mystic message is you're about to be offered something with a financial benefit. I have a good feeling about this. I have a good feeling about this. So there you go, there you go. Some good news coming in, but maybe you're saving up for something. Maybe you wanna hold it all together and just save up. For something especially in these trying times you might find that you're just clawing everything back together now but just uh, leave that little window open okay let's have a look at Capricorns now Capricorn what is your love energy Capricorns for the month of May okay Capricorns month of May love area the judgment card. Now, this indicates an awakening. It's like, aha, I get it. It indicates that you've got that penny dropping moment or that you're having that penny dropping, pop, blah, 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 penny dropping moment so you can see things are much clearer now. There's a rebirth coming in around your relationships and your love. There's this enlightenment that's coming. Like, you get it now. You can see that bigger picture. So huge awakenings allowing you to re be reborn, allowing you to move forward around your love area. Let's have a look around your money. 
money Capricorns. Capricorns love a bit of money. Okay, the Ten of Swords. Interesting, because I know a Capricorn, and I know that she's just had to fork out a huge amount. Huge amount, 10 grand actually, huge amount. Anyway, this is indicating that the end of the difficult time is there, okay? So in the money area, if you have had to spend a lot or if things have been challenging, then just accept it for what it is. Don't battle on anymore. Just accept a situation for what it is because now the time is to cut those ties, sever things, admit defeat or just admit that it is what it is. You had to fork out for that and close that door. The end of karmic challenges to do with finances. You might have found that you've sort of been stabbed in the back by somebody or been let down by somebody there. And mentally, yes, it's exhausting, but don't bother putting any more in energy into it. Just let it go now because there's a new dawn awakening for you that's going to be a lot easier. And let's have a look at a general vibe for you Capricorns. Three of Wands. Fabulous card. Three of Wands. So this indicates that you're going to be able to start planning. It indicates that you're done with the past and you're now able to start moving forward, start planning forward and making plans ahead generally. You could be teaming up with people, two or three people. You could be working towards an idea or a goal and now you've hit a milestone where you can start to see that things are working for you. Threes are milestones in tarot. So you can see that something is good and now you're ready for that next chapter. Plan ahead. Good things are coming and you can see now the obstacles in your way so you're clearer all around with what you need to do. And let's have a little look at your mystic message. Okay. Mystic message. It is a love vibe. It says keep on driving, hun. Plenty more passengers to meet for you. Don't be sad though, chick. It's their loss, not yours. Okay, sometimes, like you said, we sometimes something doesn't go right, but is there ever a wrong or is it just meant to be? And then we find where we've got to be. Keep on driving. Don't park your car just yet, particularly around love. Okay, Capricorns, that is your messages for the month of May. And Earth Signs, I do hope you've enjoyed all that. If you would like to book a reading with me, then do just message me or contact me via my website, www.kateme.co.uk.